Hi, welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Brent Bates, and it's my Over the Fence Post segment. You know, if you were watching this show last week, I talked about relative value, kind of explaining how, uh, especially when you get into securities, utility tokens, uh, certain coins and such, the valuation of it is all relative, relative to the expectations and desires, fears, and, and uh, whatever neuroses has hold of the investing public at any given point in time. Well, I'll tell you what, since there's a lot of new coins coming out uh, and the altcoins are starting to get uh, back in favor after the Bitcoin move, uh, I want to talk a little bit about one of my happy's favorite sayings. You get more out of what you inspect than what you expect. And both my daughters will tell you that I have uh, driven this into their skull ad nauseum because it's basically a very good thing for all young people and just for people in general to, uh, to keep in mind, you get more out of what you inspect than what you expect. So let's take that and put that in up against our altcoin situation right now. So for those of you that like to go in pre-ICO or pre-IEO or pre, uh, pre-issuance, let's say, um, you're mainly working off of a white paper, and then you're probably working off a little bit of a executive summary, uh, some projections and some pro formas. And so guess what? When you're doing something like that, go ahead and inspect their numbers. Uh, see if the assertions and the, uh, and the assumptions that they're making are correct. You know, right now I'm working on a large IPO project. And interestingly enough, it's in an industry that I'm not intimately familiar with, but having been in business uh, and as a businessman for some 30 odd years, I, I did pretty well. And so I actually built a pro forma, built a number of the projections without really doing any kind of inspection as to the modeling that I was doing as far as what are the certain percentages, what are the industry standards and such. And guess what? I was fortunate enough that when I went back and did the inspect, not just what I expected, they actually were very, very close, uh, interestingly enough. And a lot of that's based on, on my experience. But as you as an investor are going to have to take those white papers, take those business projections, take those pro formas, and go do a little bit of digging, okay? Because interestingly enough, there can be a, ba a great project, but if it's basically built on some erroneous assumptions, basically you will find yourself with a poor investment later on down the road. You might even not be able to use the utility portion of the utility token that you are investing in. And so therefore, you got to do your own investigation. Now, granted, there are rating services out there where these people do that for you. I have news for you. A lot of the rating services are more thematic. Uh, you know, they're, they're flying a lot of different crypto opportunities at 30,000 feet, and they don't get down into the weeds in trying to make sure that the numbers, the projections, uh, the assumptions that everything is built on are more realistic in regards to the marketplace that they're dealing with, the industry that they're dealing with, or the problem that they're try trying to solve. And yes, guess what? We have now gotten to the point where a lot of your altcoins are trying to solve real world problems. And we have been saying on this show for two, three, four years now, that when we get to the point that crypto can solve real world problems, we will really start to see a ramp up uh, in acceptance and the proliferation of, of crypto will go through the, the world much faster than it has been because you're solving those real world problems. So also, one thing that you have to do in that kind of inspecting and expecting is that there's nothing easier to sell than a salesman. And so if you are kind of an optimistic type and, and see the glass is always being half full and all that sort of stuff, you know, you, you have to realize that you got to not necessarily drink the Kool-Aid um, and you need to look at everything with a little bit of a jaundice eye. And also realize that, hey, would I accept this if it's not going to hit the targets that it's trying to hit? When I do a pro forma for a business, I actually have what I call a confidence coefficient. And I put that over there in the spreadsheet in the top corner, and I'll have one for income and I'll have one for expenses because what it allows people to do is go in and say, okay, this all looks great. I kind of really like the story. I'm kind of buying into it. 
but what if their revenues are only 70% of what they thought <clears throat> and their expenses are going to be 120% of what they thought? Is that going to sink this company's boat? And so by doing that, it allows them to change two variables and kind of do some what if planning or inspection, as I like to call it, and determining whether this is a fairly sound and, and solvent opportunity or whether this is something that's running right along the crust. You know, the interestingly enough in the industry that I do a lot of work in, which is real estate development as well, the number of companies that are out there now trying to get cities and municipalities and various ent entities to give them uh, tax favored status, tax abatement, uh, tax rebate, so on and so forth. And they will actually sit there and tell them, oh my gosh, if you do not do this for me, this project will not be able to make it. And guess what, folks? If a little bit of a ad valorem tax kills the deal, it really wasn't a deal. So inspect, don't just expect. We'll be back next week on the Wild West Crypto Shows over the fence post.